Well, guys, you know, a versus battle couldn't have been too far. And honestly, I'm actually really happy to do this one. I've always wondered this question and often wondered why Death Battle hasn't done this one themselves or honestly, the rest of the internet. Like I've seen like a couple of people hint it, but to me, this is actually like a pretty fire battle, all things considered. And I think it actually makes a lot of sense, especially considering that Star vs. The Force of Evil takes a lot of inspiration from Sailor Moon. So I'm really interested to see like, can Star like beat Sailor Moon or like not just beat Sailor Moon, but like just take over? Like, well, I don't know. Let's find out in this video. If you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button. It always helps. Thank you. And also, just to do what I normally do at the beginning of these videos, if you are a returning subscriber, which I hope you are, you should know that, yes, I do cut my video into three parts. These three parts being where I scale the first character, the second character, and last but not least, I cover and discuss who I think actually wins. Now, with that being said, let's get into the video right now. I think we're gonna get into star scaling first. It's, honestly, I think star scaling just is a lot more simple. So we'll just get into it right now. Princess Star Butterfly is the main protagonist of Star vs. the Forces of Evil. She's a teenage princess of the Kingdom of Muni from another dimension sent to Earth by her royal family. After an altercation with a couple of evil monsters, she currently lives with her earthly host, the Diaz family, which is not 100% true if you've seen the entire series. Star has magical powers and superhuman physical characteristics, magic skill, uh, portal creation, Delete gravity, reality manipulation, elemental manipulation, plant manipulation, time stop, life creation, weather manipulation, telekinesis, illusion creation, summoning, electricity manipulation, creation, teleportation, video manipulation, size manipulation, explosion manipulation, rainbow manipulation, force field creation, transportation, ice manipulation, regeneration negation, up to mid mirror, BFR, empathetic manipulation, taste slash quality manipulation, cost manipulation, extra body parts, biological manipulation, can disarm weapons, necromancy can stop plants from rooting, vap, vap, oh my god, vaporization, aid manipulation, memory erasure, and timeline creation. True flight can create purple webs, portal creation can create portals with her own powers. With that being said, we can now get into the attack potency of that of, of one star butterfly. Looking at the attack potency for star butterfly, the earliest we can put her at is large building level plus, because she is comparable to her father who leveled a good chunk of a force just by landing. Then into city block level because she physically can harm Marco Diaz who was still staring after being in an explosion strong enough to take out all of Ludo's monsters and unarmed after falling hundreds of feet while inside of a bus. Her spells and magical attacks varies from large building level can harm Ludo's minions who can withstand her physical attacks collapse a watchtower in St. Ogre's reform school for wayward princesses. Small town level with the whispering spell destroy Ludo's castle. Multiverse level plus with the full power of the wand froze time in the entire multiverse in which they needed the help of Father Time himself. Father Time later stated that they might slightly damage the concept of time. The one itself is capable of destroying the multiverse. The royal book itself talks about how to restore destroyed universes was stated by Baby to be far superior to her mother who could fight off Toffee for a little bit. Toffee refers to the one as all the power in the universe. Ludo refers to the one as the most powerful relic in existence. Toffee with half of the one one-shotted Omnitrax's prime who embodies the infinite universes in cosmology could seemingly harm Glossary with a power blast from the one. And last but not least, Multiverse Level Plus, because she scales above her one, fought Meteor Butterfly at her peak, was far more powerful than Tom Lucifer and Mina Loveberry. Among Marco Diaz, they merged the universes of Earth and Muni. Spoiler, spoiler, spoiler. This was done in harmless way to their inhabitants and Star Mark or whatever. Nobody cares. And looking at the full speed for Star Butterfly, infinite levels of speed because Skywind with the one was capable of shooting a blast of energy that destroyed another castle. And her real scaling, at least the one I think is the best to go with, is FTL because she can attack enemies who can react to some of her un um, unnamed blasts, which Buff Raw refers to as laser beams, can avoid and reflect laser from past moons one. So I'm going to put Star at Infinite for this video. You're going to see why very quick. So yeah, uh, we're going to get over there to that Sailor Moon side because that's going to do it for Star Speed and uh, Power. So let's remember, Power, Multiverse Level Plus. And speed infinite. So let's let's get into you know the uh, Sailor Moon. Usagi Tuscano is the reincarnation of the ancient princess of the solar system, Princess Serenity, and in the modern era is Sailor Moon, leader of the Sailor Sensu, the guardians of the Sailor Solar System. 
She is the bearer of the silver crystal, the ultimate force of creation and the cosmos and battles the incarnations of chaos, the ultimate evil, who wish to claim the silver crystal to destroy the entire cosmos. She goes on to defeat chaos itself and become the ruler of the entire solar system, Neo Queen Serenity, also hearing in the new era of peace and or immortality for all its people. Yeah, that is just a crazy summary for Sailor Moon. So yeah, let's just see like, if like star keeps up i mean stars based off of sailor moon i mean she has a pretty good chance i mean her stats are pretty good i mean for sure when looking at all the things like that sailor moon can do we have blessed sailor shinshu are the avatars of the god's hand chosen by faith they are born under the protection of the god sin their guardian plan is giving them number of abilities and inherent resistance and numerous abilities Dream scare, uh, skyring, resurrection, immortality. Uh, the temporary lives of each incarnation are treated as temporary disguise for the century's internal life across reincarnations. Then we have social influencing. We have uh, a warlord madman fell in love with Neo Queen Serenity for one side and spent the rest of the arc attempting to capture her instead of kill her. Galaxia, a genocidal dictator, was so enraptured by Usagi's love that she willingly gave up and allowed herself to die. Chaos, the conceptual void before existence, wanted to fuse with Usagi instead of killing her. Idol teleportation, shield. Uh, Usagi is the bearer of the silver crystal, which will act independently of her to teleport her away from danger, uh, grow into a barrier to protect her, or add skewed energy to form a barrier around her. And then we have stuff like energy projection, you know, light manipulation, uh, teleportation, dimensional travel, BFR, shape shifting. Uh, BFR, by the way, if you don't know, is battlefield removal, enhanced senses, uh, spatial destruction, we have enchantment, we have purification, we have empowerment, energy manipulation, emotional manipulation, mind control, regeneration. Uh, this regenerated sailor saddened after the destruction of both her body and soul. Flight and aura can generate an aura of energy around her that allows her to levitate through the air. Then we have ice manipulation, power absorption, purification, time manipulation, um, amplification, willpower manipulation, reality warping, wish grain. The silver crystal can create uh, miraculous such as depicting the holy grail grain wishes. Resistance to purification, corruption, madness, manipulation, perception, manipulation, status effect, inducement, uh, radiation. Wow. Yeah, like I said, uh, she has a lot of powers and abilities. Uh, but then again, there's a lot of these powers and abilities like you can just go down a list of. And then there's like all these magic. This is just what you get when you look at magic girls. Then we have like ribbon manipulation, smoke manipulation, sulfur manipulation, text manipulation, time stop, tune force, and wa uh, water manipulation. I think tune force is not given to, to yeah, Usagi. Yeah, that's more like anime nonsense. Explosion manipulation, extensory perception, fire manipulation, and fourth wall awareness, fragrance manipulation, genius intelligence ice manipulation illusion creation and that's only in certain situations with that genius intelligence one nonetheless though let's get into like usagi's attack potency so now i can start like all the way back at like the very beginning of the series but to conserve time for this video and i don't want this video to be like 20 minutes long or whatever which it will be if i cover like all the way back to early usagi scaling i'm just gonna cut that in half and start like the half the series so the scaling will still stand up. It's not like I need to start all the way back there anyways. As long as you understand what's going on, it's perfectly fine. At least solar system level because Sapphire, a low tier of the second arc, was unscared of going to the interior of Nemesis where its mass is concentrated. Nemesis being a black hole the size of a planet that would be a mass of thousands of stars. Count at likely 162 foe. Black Moon Clan villains, including fodder droids, regularly tank the energy used to time travel. Then we have high universal level because stronger than our power during the uh, Materia fight. Universal level plus because Sailor Moon was bestowed a power by Neo Queen Serenity that wraps space time, piercing even to the far reaches of space time, and is relative to Black Lady, whose birth created a chaos in space time greater than any before. Now we have likely low multiversal level because Usagi's initial henshin into Super Sailor Moon released tens of thousands of times the powers of Terrian Crystal in its peak, while a Terrian Crystal that is dying out has an infinite power similar to base Sailor Moon's by the end of the third arc. Sailor Moon, su I mean Super Sailor Moon had enough power to grant seven other Sailor Shinshu their super forms before getting an even stronger super form in the fourth arc beyond any power she'd ever had. Likely relative to base Sailor 
Saturn, whose power was going to at least reduce the Tau dimension to silence and nothingness and would have threatened the main dimension if Pluto had not sealed off the dimension, meaning she was threatening at least two dimensions, possibly far higher because Sailor Saturn is consistently stated to be a threat to everything and during her appearance in the ancient past, she was with a single motion killed all things including Sailor Pluto outside of space time suggesting Sailor Saturn was threatening every dimension. The Sailor Moon Cosmos has numerous alternate dimensions and parallel timelines through the exact amount is unknown. At least multiversal level low, possibly for higher because vastly stronger than before after having her power unlocked in Eastland, her civilian power was able to cause pain to uh, now Helena who was stronger than the initial Dream Arc Super Sailor Shinshu. Then we have, uh, you know, low multiversal level, more scaling for it. Even at her weakest during the Stars Arc should be strong stronger than she was during the dream arc usagi is her civilian form tank the power of galaxy civilian form stayed to be stronger than any prior enemy and which destroyed the holy grail which had tanked the power of dream arc eternal sailor moon and now we have usagi's most powerful attack potency complex multiverse level eternal sailor moon's full power was stated by both galaxy and sailor cosmos to be able to destroy the ga the galaxy Clodderin. The galaxy Clodderin is a plane of reality that transcends the entire Sailor Moon Cosmos and created all potentials within it. The Sailor Moon Cosmos is known to have a numerous high dimensions, including at least one additional spatial dimension, as well as statements such as just numerous time dimensions, such as a statement of there being layers of time and time being stated to contain depths of space time, where a time key is needed to detect any particular point of space as well as space time corridor a timeless rift transcending concepts of a distance and direction this would be likely a dimension just transcending the fourth dimensions of space and three dimensions of time complex multiverse level after absorbing the labatomo power usagi destroyed chaos with a single burst reducing it to inf um, infinitesimal inf uh, small without intending uh to um infinitesimal without intending to which is just crazy now we have speed which is now going to look like this now we have usagi and i know this is going to sound kind of crazy because you're like oh i watch sailor moon i never saw well you never really paid attention that much because i'm going to explain this immeasurable level of speed because she not by vastly slower than zoe sight who reacted to and avoided reflected moonlight after it was fired light and sailor moon has been shown to transcend time on a larger number of instances however it is unknown if this is a property of all light or just the light of the silver crystal now we have immeasurable further scaling because he was superior to herself before but here's even more if you don't believe me on that one Superior to before, defeated Queen Materia, who, along with the other incarnations of evil, traveled across space and time. However, first arc Materia is weaker than Prime Materia and is unknown how she compares to herself at the point she traveled across space and time. And then we have at least inaccessible, which would be downgrading, but we can say can move normally in a space between times, a timeless voice. So at least inaccessible, but likely immeasurable because she was superior to herself before. It is likely not infinitely slower than Black Lady. Then we can say immeasurable for sure because it is not infinitely slower than Black Lady who quickly brought um, D-Man and Sephiroth to the edge of space time. Should be relative to Death Phantom who in a much weaker state traveled across space and time. Ending up in the far future reacted to Sailor Moon's lights transcending time and reaching the far reaches of space time. With that being said, and all that scaling for Sailor Moon finally complete, we finally got all the reasons why that Sailor Moon is a measurable speed and has her AP calc at complex multiverse level. Now, with that being said, we can now get into the last and final part of this video, the discussion, which might just push this video to 20 minutes anyways, but we'll, we'll see. When looking at Sailor Moon and Star Butterfly, Star Butterfly was definitely inspired by Sailor Moon with all things considered. But remember how earlier I said during the Sailor, like during the, uh, not Sailor Moon section, but during the Star Butterfly section that I'm just going to highball Star to Infinite, even though I don't actually agree with that scaling. Yeah, here's the fun fact. Sailor Moon is not only, and I mean not only, just in like the prime like of scaling, like, if we just like take like the original statement that I think nobody can like debunk because it's true. 
she did in fact can move normally in a space between times which is a timeless void so at least inaccessible which is superior to that of infinite speed so usagi at like that speed is still faster than like like star butterfly by a lot now there is people that say star can move at immeasurable levels of speed but the scaling for it is not consistent and i don't really want to even get in there which is going to pretty much be that overall and i mean even then sailor moon still has tons of scaling for immeasurable speeds i was just lowballing her to what i believe i think immeasurable speed is without a doubt sailor moon's max speed now this is coming from a neutral ground as i love usagi just as much as i love star but the overall point of what i'm trying to make here is is that yeah usagi is just much faster but don't worry power might play a power here when we go back to star scaling, we can see that she has multiverse level plus in terms of her power scaling. This is because she scales above her wand and fought Meteora Butterfly at her peak, who was far more powerful than Tom Lucifer and Mina Loveberry. With that being said, multiverse level plus is clearly not as strong as something on the lines of, well, complex multiverse level. And not only is it not even close to as strong, well, I won't say something like that, but it's not on the same level, nor is it like in the same pay grade, to be honest. Plus, when even looking at the feat from Usagi, it's just kind of crazy to imagine that she was able to pull this off. I mean, listen to this. After absorbing the lobotomy power, Usagi destroyed chaos, chaos, which is a concept, with a single burst, reducing it to infinitesimal without intending to. <laughs> what? Reducing it infinitesimally without intending to, which is just crazy. That was without trying. So you can make an argument that Usagi is even stronger than that because she wasn't trying. But that's all she needed to beat the biggest, most baddest thing in her verse. So I'm thinking, yeah, Usagi, like, not stops. Like, this is what I would say. And I bet a lot of y'all like, well, magic users. Well, they're both magic users. And when I went over their powers and abilities, I did that specifically to point out something. There is so many spells that Star can use, but there are so many spells that Usagi can use. So it's like, and they both do about the same thing. So it's like, it's pointless to compare spells at that point. You might as well just compare the amount of power that they can push out from their spells and usagi's is just like not necessarily on another level but just like it's it's a higher it's much higher and, and i think that just has to be noted it's just much higher now is it crazy higher not really but it is higher for sure and is it higher enough for me to say usagi wins yeah now, do I think Usagi just no diff star? No, that's not what I'm saying. I think she like mid to high diffs Usagi. I mean, I mean star. And let me explain why I say this. It is simply because if you take it to the account that star could in, like could catch Usagi off guard with a spell or something that she can use or dimensional scissors. They both have, you know, they both have battlefield removal. So, I mean, you know, they both have that. But I'm saying it can happen a lot more easier with Star having dimensional scissors than the other way around. And then think about like this, like I understand that like we know that like we know this to be a fact that like Star can in fact like, you know, grant wishes. She has a wand or whatever. But the thing is like this girl, like, like Usagi literally can grant wishes with her like crystal. You know what I mean? So I'm just like, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm going to have to give this to Osagi. Man, it's a high diff, man. I, I can't lie. Now, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to hit the red subscribe button. I think Usagi wins. If you guys disagree with me, please tell me in the comments below. I would love to respond to all the Star fans or all the Sailor Moon fans who agree. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. And uh, thank you for tuning in. I love both of these characters. And uh, yeah, once more, I think Usagi wins. All right, I'll catch you guys in the next one. I can never say this enough. I'll never say this enough. Thank you, and I'm out. Have a nice day. All right.